Hey everyone, I'm going to be reviewing the Bubble Magic 5x5 Manual Heat Rosin Press. So the first thing you're going to notice is that this is wrapped in black plastic, so it's shipped extremely discreetly. And then underneath the black plastic, you notice is the actual box. There are some instructions inside the box. I'm just going to open these up, take a look at them. It's like some sort of manual on how to use the unit. And then the last page looks like some warnings, so on and so forth. All right, let's take this out. Looks like it's fairly well packaged. There's a power cord in there. Just gonna unwrap this. All right, here we go. Sweet. I'm going to show you this press in action, but before I do that, I want to go over some of the features of the Bubble Magic 5x5 manual rosin press. So first thing is that this is a manual press with a handle. It's not pneumatic, hydraulic, or electric, which means that you're going to have to put some force into getting the handle down, but it's not that tough. Just want to point out if uh, for some reason you can't press it down due to some disability, I do not recommend this rosin press. Uh, you might want to look into um, a rosin press that is uh, automatic, so to speak. The heat plates on this are five inches by five inches, and each one of the plates have individual temperature control. The rosin press is equipped with an LCD screen on both sides, one for each press, a digital timer, and precise temperature control up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. The time range is zero to 999 seconds. This press will press at 100 pounds per square inch, which is perfect for smaller applications and home use. Keep in mind that there are some presses on the market that will press uh, significantly uh, more with more pressure than this press, but this is a great starter press for anyone looking to get into rosin pressing without breaking their budget. Lastly, this rosin press works at 120 volts, so I don't recommend plugging it into a 240 volt socket. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up this rosin press. It's really simple. You switch it on on the side, and you're gonna press this bottom button, which is set. And the first mode here is our temperature, so it's set at 210. The second mode is the seconds, set that at 60 seconds in this example. And the third one is Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, the next one is to adjust the temperature just in case you have a discrepancy between the actual temperature and the set temperature. And then that last one was to set a pre-timer. So that's it, really simple. After you get both heat plates set to the desired temperature, you're gonna wanna fill the rosin bag up with flour. So what I recommend doing on this is actually grinding the flour. So in this example, um, it's not ground. I'm just stuffing the flour in here. And you're also going to want to make sure you get the flour, uh, the ground flour, the whole flour, whatever it is that you're putting in, all the way down into the corners because this is going to help reduce uh, the amount of rosin that remains on the bag. And then also in this example, uh, you can see that I didn't pack it down all the way. And also, I would recommend cutting off this excess material um, on the outside of the stitch because the rosin is going to remain on that. So you'll see here after I press it, I have extra rosin left over on the bag due to these things. So this was just a quick example, just wanted to show you how to use this press. Once you get the bag full, you're going to want to put it in between some parchment paper and get ready to press it. Once the plates have reached their temperatures, we can begin to press this. So I'm just gonna lay this down right here on the bottom plate. Make sure it's lined up. And line up the top plate and press the handle down. And the timer starts right here. So I'm gonna speed it up. So we're pressing at about 210 Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. Check that out, not bad for the first press. Um, again, with more pressure, uh, you're gonna get more extraction, but this isn't looking bad. 
And you can see here how some of the rosin remained on the bag. And like I just pointed out, you know, getting rid of some of this excess uh, material is going to help. So check that out. Not too bad. And then I did a second and third press with the same bag just to get that excess rosin out. So this is the second press with the same exact bag. You can see we got a little bit more. And then a third press. Again, same temperature, same amount of time. And there's our third press, a little bit less that last time. Here's the first, second, and third press lined up from left to right. Extraction is a balance between pressure, temperature, and time. The more pressure, the better. With a higher temperature, expect a larger yield, but you'll be sacrificing quality, so less terpenes overall. Lower temperatures yield less rosin, but the rosin is of higher quality, so therefore more terpenes. Keep in mind that the amount of rosin drawn out on consecutive presses will be of lower amount and quality. You may consider pressing consecutively at higher temperatures to get that extra extract out. In my experiments, lower temperatures press at a longer time were more effective in drawing out the extract. In general, a lower temperature, say below 190 degrees Fahrenheit, may draw out less extract and will have a batter-like consistency. A high temperature, say around above 190 degrees Fahrenheit, will squeeze out more rosin and will be of a more oily or shatter-like consistency. You'll need to experiment to see what works for you as yield can vary by strain and whether the flour is unground or grinded. Bubble Magic Presses can be purchased at LED Grow Lights Depot. That's www.ledgrowlightsdepot.com. If you need a larger or more powerful press, check out the other options by Bubble Magic in the description. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment giving us your best tip for rosin pressing. If you want more content like this, subscribe here for updates. Happy pressing!